All right, let's talk about sharks. All right. I, I'm, I think everyone is fascinated by them, and uh, most people are scared of them, but you can it, it, for sure know that everybody has some kind of feeling about a shark. Yeah, so, that's for sure. So you, uh, I think what, what your job is, and especially that's why I wanted you here today, is get rid of this misconception of, and, and you know, yes, there are shark attacks. Yes, they can be dangerous, but, but they really aren't these scary creatures. Oh, not at all. The, the most common misconception that people have is that all sharks are jaws, or like great weights. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Most sharks are actually only about three feet long. So there's about 500 different species, and they come in different shapes and sizes. Uh, but, it, you know, they're, they're wonderful animals. So there, uh, how many are the, the, the scary kind that people should... And, and, it's, and it's not like we're going to come across those unless we're, you know, like scuba diving or something. Yeah, there's only really four species that are sort of considered dangerous and the rest are, are pretty much harmless unless you're a fish or a crab or something like that. Uh, okay, so, but somebody... Well, you were a fish in a, Somebody, in a film, yes, but... I was a fish, so how dare you? Um, <laughs> no, but like, what if somebody is, you know, I, I, I can hear people out there saying, yeah, but you, you, you see these attacks on the news of somebody being on a paddleboard and they, they get them or they're swimming. So what is that explanation? Well, I think, uh, you know, the, the ocean's wilderness, and they are predators. You wouldn't really run around in the savannah in Africa dressed as a zebra and expect not uh, to have a lion or a wild dog come after you. Right. So when we go in the ocean, uh, you know, unfortunately, we enter the food chain. But it's, it's incredibly rare. I, th there's sharks all along this coast, and the attacks are very, very rare. Yeah, and when they do, it seems like they get a bite of a human, and they go, that's not what I want, and let go, right? They're not like like they do fish. Yeah, absolutely. They, they evolved to eat things not, that are not us. We are apes. We are primates. They're not used to it. There's no primates swimming around in the ocean other than us right. in the last century. So t tell everybody about the Global Thin Print Project. That's a hard thing to say. Global Thin Print Project yeah, it's a little was difficult. featured in the film Endangered that we just showed. If you didn't see Endangered yet, you should because it's a beautiful film and teaches you about lots of different things, not just sharks. But explain what that project is. So the Global Fin Print Project is the world's largest shark and ray survey conducted on coral reefs in 58 nations around the world. It was funded by Paul G. Allen, the co-founder of Microsoft. And the basic idea was we went all over the world, 58 countries, we set video cameras on the seafloor uh, for an hour each, and there was a bit of bait in front of them, and the idea was to attract the sharks in so we could sort of roughly count them, not exact, but rough. So we would get an idea of where sharks were doing well and where they were not doing well. And it was crazy. We actually ended up with uh, 20,000 hours of footage, which is, which is quite a lot. I know your, your show is 2,000 hours. Yeah. Um, ours was a little bit bigger, 20,000. You have celebrities and such. We just have fish. So I think you win. But, uh, <laughs> no, no, you win. At, at, the, at the end of the day, it took a team of 1,000 people to set these things, watch them, and analyze the data, and, and, and we made some pretty intriguing discoveries. Yeah, it's amazing. Okay, so the Ellen Fund reached the goal of a million dollars for the endangered campaign. That was our goal. Right. Um, and yes, thanks to everybody who donated to, for that, because a portion of that is gonna go to the shark conservation. How will you use that money? Well, what we found in Global Finprint was where people were investing in conservation measures, uh, certain conservation measures, sharks were doing well. In places where fishing was unregulated, uh, they weren't doing so well. So the idea, what we're doing is we're working with governments. And one example, and specifically this uh, grant is going to the government of, Bel we're working with the government of Belize because they recently over the summer protected 1,500 square miles of coral reef so for great. sharks. So great. And uh, we thank you for that because uh, the, what the government did is they actually brought together researchers uh, fishermen and women uh, from Belize and the, their government people, and they, they wanted to do something for shark conservation. Uh, so we all sort of worked together, looked at the science, came up with these protected areas. The crazy thing is the endangered camp campaign funding and funding from other sources helped us get the fishermen and women on board because what we did is we said, well, you're going to lose the fishing opportunities in these places. But what we're going to do is we're going to hire you to tag sharks instead of killing them and work with us to gather data to, f 
you know, feed into conservation in the future. That's fantastic. So it's, it's amazing. And uh, I, I love working with the, with the fisher folk in, in Belize and, and, and getting this done. It's fantastic. All right, we're going to take a break and we're going to explain why you should care about sharks and why disappearing is a bad, bad thing for all of us, whether you know that or not. We're going to explain that after this. I am so grateful to have a platform like this for reasons like this. This is a shark expert and his name is Damian Chapman. And explain to people why sharks are important and why we can't lose them. Well, sharks are predators just like we have on land, wolves, bears, big cats. When we exterminated a lot of those across the earth, we saw all kinds of strange knock-on effects, disease outbreaks, parasites and such. In the ocean, we don't know what will happen because we're not there every day. But if we take the sharks out, you know, it's going to be a un potentially very unhealthy ocean for us and, and nobody wants that. Yeah, an unhealthy ocean is an unhealthy earth. Oh, absolutely. I think people don't the understand. Lungs. It is the lungs of the earth. I mean, the same thing with the forests and same thing with, with the water. Um, well, we're trying to, to sell things in the Ellen shop to raise money for an endangered campaign. So we have things like this, uh, this sweatshirt here and all the proceeds will go to shark conservation or gorillas. There's all the different animals that are endangered. And we have... This, this water bottle that has the shark on it, which is good to have a water bottle anyway instead of using plastic. So, um, but just go to the Ellen shop and anything you can buy with endangered stuff is going to go to uh, the, the projects animals. that we're talking about, all the animals. Um, cool. Endangered is available to stream on Dis Discovery Plus right now. And for more information on how you can help sharks and other endangered animals featured in the documentary, go to our website. I want to thank Damian Chapman and Penelope Cruz. I want to thank all of you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my final season. I feel the love in this room. Back at you. Spread it around.